you go. The hours Morning. come. And Mr. Decker, I would ask that you please call the roll to take attendance. Members that are in attendance will please respond that you are present when your name is called. I want to thank you very much. Councilwoman Bass. Present. Councilwoman Brooks. Present. Councilman Dom. Present. Councilwoman Gautier. Present. Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Present. Councilman Green. Present. Councilwoman Gim. Present. Councilman Heenan. Present. Councilman Johnson. Present. Councilman Jones. Present. Councilman O. Present. Councilman O'Neill. Present. Councilwoman Parker. Present. Councilwoman Quinone Sanchez. Presente. Councilman Squilla. Present. Councilman Thomas. Present. Council President Clark. Present. We have established a quorum of council and we will now come to order. Despite the need, there will be no invocation today. We will, however, observe a very brief moment of silent reflection or prayer for our city, its leaders, and its citizens during the current public health crisis. We will have a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Before we begin conducting the business we have for today, I would like to offer a brief statement regarding the scope of the council session and public comment at our sessions during the COVID-19 pandemic. As we all know, Philadelphia is currently operating under a declaration of emergency related to the coronavirus issued by both Governor Wolf and Mayor Kinney. Social distancing rules implemented under the emergency declaration prevent city council from conducting the meetings in person. As a result, it is impossible to comply fully with the state Sunshine Act, which includes requirements for public comment. Under normal circumstances, if council could not comply with the Sunshine Act as it relates to the public comment, council would not act on any legislation at all. These are not normal times, however. So in an emergency such as COVID-19, the law allows city council to meet and take necessary actions to address the emergency and to support essential governmental functions without strict adherence to the Sunshine Act. This limited power to act lasts until the governor and the mayor declare that the emergency has ended. We are not eliminating public comment. Instead, we are implementing a different approach, which I, I will describe later in the session. With that said, council is taking action today solely in order to speed process of appropriating money to agencies and people fighting to keep our city safe. We have made every effort under these difficult circumstances to ensure that this meeting is disseminated widely to the public and that your comments will be heard. I want to thank you. Our orders of business today, if there are no objections, I propose to dispense with the regular order of business, except approval of the journal, request for leaves of absence, communications, consideration of the calendar, and the adjournment. Are there any objections to this process? Hearing none, I want to thank you very much. And our next order of business is the approval of the journal of the meeting of Thursday, March 26, 2020. And the chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, March 26, 2020 be approved. Second. second. Thank you. It has been moved properly second that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, March 26, 2020 stand approved. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Ayes uh, have it, and the journal is approved. Our next order of business is request for leaves of absence, and the chair recognizes Councilwoman Parker. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the members of council, there are no requests for leaves of absence today. Chair, thanks to Councilwoman. Our next order of business is communications. Will the Sergeant of Arms deliver any messages? There are no messages? Thank you. 
these messages will the message will be printed in the journal. The chief clerk will please any other additional communications? I have none, Mr. President. Thank you. Our next order of business is consideration of the calendar. There being no bills on the first reading calendar, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Parker for the purpose of calling up resolutions and bills on the second reading and final passage calendars. Thank you, Mr. President. The following bill is being called up from the second reading and final passage calendars today. Number 200258, all other resolutions and bills are being held. Thank you, Councilwoman. Before considering this bill today, we will consider public comment as follows. This is our first remote session of council and our first test of a new approach to public comment. Today is a streamlined version of our typical council session, and we are only going to consider one item of business, bill number 200258, which will give the administration additional funding authority to respond to the coronavirus epidemic. Today, your public comment must concern that bill and that bill alone. In future remote sessions, and after the emergency declaration has ended, your public comment may concern any matters on the second reading and final passes calendar for possible action at those council sessions. As we announced earlier in the press release, in social media, and on our website, all speakers must sign up in order to testify. For the duration of this health crisis, you must call 215-686-3406 by 5 p.m. the day before the session to sign up for public comment. We will take your name, phone number, the number of the legislative item you are commenting on and whether you are in support or against the legislation. We will telephone each person on the list during the council session in order in which they were added to the list and we'll invite them to our remote meeting they will have three minutes to speak. In addition, we could conceivably limit the number of speakers to a total of 10 if it's on one particular bill. Um, so we will deal with that as time comes on the particular legislative item. What we ask you to do is adhere to our guidelines and once the three minutes have passed, you will be asked to conclude your remarks. Mr. Decker, can you please call the first name on the list? Melissa Robbins. Good morning, council members and council president. Good morning. My name is Melissa Robbins, and I live in Fox Chase neighborhood of Philadelphia. I thank you all for using your resources to allow residents to be a part of today's meeting. Increasingly, we as residents and voters feel a lack of trust with government. I'd like to know how can taxpayers be guaranteed, which we all rightfully deserve, transparency of how the $80 million will be allocated. We all know it's the frontline workers who are underpaid and overworked and who not only risk their lives every day, but they risk the lives of their loved ones when they return home. Small businesses are taking hits and owners don't know where to go. The digital divide is ever more clear and growing. I'd like to know what efforts are also being made to reach out to residents who do not have access to communicate their real needs to their council people. I just I'd like to say I thank you all for your hard work and showing true leadership in such a dire time, and this will end my comment. Does that conclude your public comment today? I want to thank you very much for your comment. Mr. Decker, do you have any additional names? There are no other speakers, Mr. President. Thank you very much. That concludes our public comment for today. We will now consider bill number 200258. The clerk will please read the title of the bill. An ordinance authorizing transfers and appropriations for fiscal year 2020 from the Grants Revenue Fund, the Director of Finance, provision for other grants, to the General Fund, the Managing Director, and to the General Fund, to certain all city offices, departments, boards, and commissions. Thank you. This bill having been read on two different days, the question now is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, please call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Aye. Councilwoman Brooks. Aye. Councilman Dom. Aye. Councilwoman Gartier. Aye. 
Councilwoman Gilmore Richardson. Aye. Councilman Green. Aye. Councilwoman Gim. Aye. Councilman Heenan. Aye. Councilman Johnson. Aye. Councilman Jones. Aye. Councilman O. Aye. Councilman O'Neill. Aye. Councilwoman Parker. Aye. Councilwoman Cunone Sanchez. Aye. Councilman Squilla. Aye. Councilman Thomas. Aye. Council President Clark. Aye. Ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of all members present having voted in the affirmative, the bill passes. That completes our calendar for today. The chair now, prior to that, recognizes any members of council that would like to speak. Are there any members? Thank you very much. The chair now recognizes Councilman Jones for a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that council stand adjourned until April 16th, 2020, Thursday at 10 a.m. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded. The council stand adjourned until Thursday, April 16th, 2020, 10 a.m. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, ayes have it. The motion carries. I want to thank you all very much. And again, uh, everyone, please be safe. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.